The mesmerizing Russian blue cat, often called Archangel Blues, are one of the most distinct cat breeds on the planet. Let's take a look at how this breed came to be and learn all about this amazing feline. Where did the Russian blue cat originate from? Russian blues, as its name suggests, have ties to Russia. This feline is a natural breed that is said to have originated on the Archangel Isles in the northern part of Russia. This is also the origin of its very curious nickname. It was said that Russian sailors heading to Northern Europe and Great Britain in the 1860s decided to take these cats on their journeys. The appearance of the Archangel Blue in England was first recorded at a Crystal Palace show in the 1870s during the Great Exhibition. The Great Exhibition was originally a global event to celebrate the modern industrial technology and design of the Victorian age. However, from 1875 onwards, the Great Exhibition began to show living and non-living interesting objects, including cats, to habitants of Victorian London, with worldwide appeal. Cat shows subsequently became a common and famous spectacle in the middle of the 19th century. The Archangel Blue found its way into the United States early in the 20th century. There have been speculations that Russian Blues lived in the wild and were often hunted for their fur, but these stories are yet to be proven. One thing is certainly true, the Russian Blues survived the harsh cold climate because of their thick coat, which kept them warm and insulated. The cat fanciers finally recognised the breed in 1912, but the breeding of the Russian Blues was interrupted by the Second World War, which greatly decreased the number of these cats. At the end of the war, Scandinavian breeders tried to save the breed from extinction by breeding them with Blue Point Siamese and British Blues. It was almost as if the distinct genes of the Russian Blue were being watered down by continuously breeding them with other cats. So, in 1965, the British breeders took notice of the changes in the personality and overall shape of the Russian Blue. They started to take action to bring back the original breed by matching them with the British Russian Blues until the perfect results were achieved. Moving on to physical characteristics, how would you recognise a Russian Blue if you saw one? We absolutely love the soft, shimmering fur coat of the Russian Blue cat. They have double layers of short, thick fur, which keep them warm all the time. The coat colour is typically bluish-grey and has a plush-like texture. There are often colour exceptions in a litter of kittens due to the recessive genes of the Siamese, but in most cases, you would get a charcoal grey surface colour with hints of shimmering silver. Russian blues are medium-sized and have an eye colour that changes from a bright yellow to a greenish hue over time. The interesting thing about the mystic eye colour of the Russian blue cat is that the kittens are born with clear blue eyes. As they grow, the colour slowly fades into a yellow or golden colour. The yellow colour develops a green ring when they get to an age of four months and above. As they approach adulthood, the eye colour finally takes on the full green colour. An adult Russian blue is about 9 to 11 inches in height and weighs between 7 to 12 pounds. How long do they live? While there are many factors that can determine the lifespan of a cat, an average Russian blue has a lifespan of about 15 to 20 years. You may be curious as to what type of personality the Russian blue has and whether they would be a perfect fit for the family. To answer your question, Russian blues are very playful pets and love to be around other members of the family. They are very fun and loving with medium energy levels. Just give them a calm environment to play in and they are good to go. They do not overly socialise and are often a bit apprehensive about approaching strangers. They may need a bit of time to make sure that it is safe to come out of hiding. While they love familiar company, they may not be so keen on very energetic and enthusiastic kids or rowdy dogs that love to jump around and play. These cats would likely retreat to their safe space at the slightest appearance of noise and return when they feel it is safe to come out. When leaving your cat with kids or dogs, it is best to monitor their interaction to ensure that your cat feels safe around them. In general, Russian Blues are a ball of fun. They are sweet, loyal pets and love to follow their owners everywhere, from the kitchen to your workplace if you let them. Once they get acquainted with a new face, they show affection and may even get touchy once in a while. But are they clingy? Not at all. 
They often need some time to themselves or away from the prying eyes of strangers. How talkative are Russian blues? You may get a few meows and trills here and there as a form of greeting or when they want to get your attention. They can be very vocal when there is an emergency, such as an empty food bowl or when they need a warm hug. Understand that Russian blues are super intelligent and know how to get your attention whenever they crave it. This is why it is important to engage them with lots of activities to burn out all that pent-up energy. Also, your cat needs both physical and mental stimulation every now and then. You can do this by getting your cat numerous toys that exercise the body and keep the mind fully functional. Consider getting colourful toys as well as mobile ones. One of their best toys may be something that helps them to practice their predatory skills. It could be a toy mouse or a fishing pole with a feather tied to the end. Simply dangle them around your cat to keep them busy for the next couple of hours. If your cat likes to scratch at things, then you might need to get a cat tree. This would encourage them to do their scratching at the right place and not the furniture. You can also explore other toys, like those that improve their intelligence, such as obstacle courses or getting snacks out of food puzzles. Some cats do not like to be left alone, especially when the owners have to go away for a few hours. Russian Blues are independent cats and can be left on their own for a long period of time. This makes them perfect for individuals that work long hours a day. They will be waiting to greet you with a happy and contented purr when you return. How do you care for a Russian Blue cat? Every experienced pet owner knows that the way to their pet's heart is proper grooming, a healthy diet with lots of protein and lots of love. Russian Blue cats are low maintenance pets because of their short hair. They do not shed so much and only need weekly brushing to keep their fur looking silky smooth. It is important to brush your pet at least once or twice a week, especially when they start to shed. Proper brushing helps to minimize shedding, removes debris, and ensures that your cat does not swallow fur while trying to groom themselves. When they swallow their own fur, it forms hairballs in their throat, and coughing them out can be very uncomfortable for your pet. Nail trimming as well as ear and eye cleaning are also part of a grooming regimen. Cats are very neat pets and love a hygienic environment. This is why you must ensure their litter box is always clean. It may be a hassle to clean after your pet all the time, which is why it is advised to get two or three litter boxes to provide your pet with multiple options when you are too busy to clean up immediately after they use a litter box. Cats can be a bit picky with their diet, and what works for one cat may not work for another. It is usually advised to speak with a vet about the most appropriate food types for your pet, not just for their appetite, but for health and weight maintenance. Adhering strictly to the instructions and portions on the cat food package will ensure that your cat gets adequate nourishment for its age and does not lose or gain excess weight that may cause obesity and other weight issues. What are the health problems associated with this breed? The Russian Blue is one of the healthiest cat breeds with no known genetic disorders. Some pure breeds may be prone to possible hereditary problems that are not very common, but with early detection, these health issues can be managed. You should bring your pet to the vet every once in a while for proper examination, vaccination, dental care and grooming. How much do they cost? A pure breed costs between $400 to $600. Make sure the breeder is recognised and credible. Adopting a Russian Blue may be less expensive than purchasing one. There is also a possibility of finding one at your local shelter as they are not as rare as some cat breeds. However, if you are unable to find one, there are always very closely related breeds at the local shelter up for adoption. Russian Blue cats are cute, gentle and very loving. They get along with members of the family and make great house pets. To sum it all up, Let's look at some of the pros and cons of this cat breed to know if they are a good match for you. Starting with the pros, they are hypoallergenic and can be tolerated by people who usually have a cat allergy. They are gentle and make loyal pets. Russian Blues are one of the healthiest cat breeds and are known to have a significantly longer life than some cats. If you are worried about leaving them all alone when you leave for work, don't be. These felines are independent and can stay without their owners for a long period of time. 
Best of all, they are low maintenance pets and do not shed so much so you don't have to clean them frequently or see the groomer so often. Now, let's take a look at the cons. Russian Blues are a bit shy and are not very keen on meeting strangers. So do not be surprised if they retreat into enclosed spaces when you have guests around. You may have to forget about frequent cuddles and lap naps because these cats are independent and do not care for so much physical contact. Lastly, they have the tendency to gain weight and become obese when you overfeed them. The Russian Blue is considered by many to be a pet that brings good luck. So if you are looking for a great family pet with a stable personality, easy to maintain, not too needy and would bring you good fortune, then this is certainly the right cat for you.